welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Guan Guan. Today, I have a very special video because I'm speaking English instead of Chinese. So why am I speaking another language instead of my mother tongue? Because I'm going to share my eyeshadow collection to all the makeup lovers in the world. So please forgive me if I speak something weird or doesn't make sense because this is not my first language. But if you are interested with my eyeshadow palette collection, please keep watching. Remember to give a thumbs up if you like this video and you can leave a comment down below if you want to know me more or you have something to talk about like sharing your collection as well. Okay, so my collection I don't have a lot of eyeshadow palettes, but I would not say it's a small collection because it's like 20 to 30 eyeshadow palettes here. And I don't think I can use all the shades in my entire life. So I would not say it's a small collection, but compared to other big influencers, YouTubers, I don't think I have a lot. So let's move on. Start from the smaller palettes I have. I have some um, drugstore ones and some higher end ones. So let's put this higher end aside. I have this three eyeshadow palettes from the drugstore. I have to say, I love my collection. So I will keep all of my eyeshadow palettes. This is just a video that's sharing all my palettes. That's it. Okay, let's start from the smallest one I have. This is the Wen Wild color icon eyeshadow quad apparently this is a four shades small palettes this is not the best quality eyeshadows i have but it's not bad especially for a mauve tone palettes it's not bad i remember it's just under two dollars one and something i think so it's very cheap and if you like a purple tone this is a good palette for you let me swatch the matte one in this palette. So this is the only matte shade in this palette. So I just turned off the light so you can see the true color under the natural light. See, it's a very muted shade, but you can build up. It's not a good shade to swatch, but on your eyes, it's a very beautiful mauve color. Let me uh, swatch one more shade here. This is a satin finish. So you can see a little sheen. It doesn't have a like very good color pair off, but it's a good daily basis eyeshadow palette. I will recommend this palette for students like you don't have a lot of budgets to buy makeup and you still want one to um, wear on a daily basis. This is a very good one. Let's move on to this two palettes. So this two palettes, I think it's much more expensive than the white one. But it's they have more shades in this palette. Six, seven, eight. So eight shades only. This one is a rose one and this is a sunset one. This is more like a warmer tone palette. And this is a cool tone palette. And this two, the color pair of are much better than this one. So I will recommend if you like more color on your eyes and you want a drugstore ones, you can pick up this too. It's like 11, 10 to 11 dollars for each one. So let me swatch some shades in the warm one. Let's swatch this pink tone. See, it's much more color when I swatch it. Okay, let me swatch some shimmer shades here. I love the shimmer shades much more than the matte ones. This is a pretty pinky rosy tone. So let me turn on the lights so you can see the sheen. I don't think the camera can catch all the color on my hand, but I will do my best. Let's swatch one more. Oh, this is much better than the other one. And you can see the beautiful sheen. 
And these two colors are very good colors to highlight your eyelid and the inner corner of your eyes. It's very beautiful, but I don't think the camera can catch color on my hands good enough. I did my best. Let's move on to the next one, the cool tone one. This, if compared to this two, I think I would choose the cool tone one because I don't have a lot of cool tone shades and compared to the higher end eyeshadow palette, this cool tone shades are not bad in this palette. So that's why I'm much impressed with the cool tone shades for the CoverGirl eyeshadow palettes. And warmer tones, I can find much better shades on the higher end ones. Let me swatch some shades here as well. Let's start with this purple one. And this one, I think similar to the Wet n Wild, this one. Yeah, this one's warmer. It's kind of brownish, taupey tone. But this one is cooler, like you can see more purpley, mauve type of color on this one. And the color payoff is much better than the Wet n Wild one. So I will recommend if you have more budget, like about $10, you can get this one. If you like cool tone, let me swatch the shimmer ones. This two, I like this too much more than the other ones. Ugh, sorry, that is not the best swatch. Okay, you can see it now, I think. These two are very beautiful tones, very beautiful colors. Let me turn on the light and you can see the sheen here. If you are looking for something that for daily basis, I think these two are good palettes because you don't get a lot of color payoff for those matte shades. But I don't think you need a lot of matte shades when you're doing the, like a natural eye. So if you like um, better shimmers and these two are good palettes. And one more thing. I like this kind of brush in this palette because, yeah, it's not a brush. It's kind of like the doe foot. I don't know how to code it, but this kind of doe foot, they are good for the shimmer shades. I don't think it's good for the matte, but for the shimmers, you can get a lot of colors and a lot of shimmers on this kind of brush and they put on your eyes. You don't have to work it a lot. Like for the regular brushes, you have to weight your brush and then get the color payoff on the sh shimmer shades. But for this kind of thing, you don't have to weight this kind of doe foot, then get the color payoff or shimmer on your eyes. Just use this one and tap, 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 and tap, tap on your eyes. That's it. It's a very good thing for the shimmer, the textures. Let's move on to the pricier. Um, eyeshadow, small eyeshadow palettes I have. This one apparently is not palettes, but this is the only um, liquid eyeshadow I have. This one is from Stila. It's called Cloud for this shade. I got it from TJ Maxx, so I don't think you have to pay full price now to get a Stila liquid eyeshadows. So let's start from this one. This one is kind of a gift from Estee Lauder. I didn't pay anything. If you buy something over $60, you can get a free bag of makeups. And this is one of them. And I don't like this palette at all. The only reason I'm keeping it because of this packaging. This is a beautiful, like a Picasso painting. So that's why I keep it. But the shade, you didn't get anything from the shades. Like, I can swatch. Let's just swatch these two darker colors. See, it's, when I swatch it, it's something on my fingers. But if you swatch it, they are not good eyeshadows. It's patchy and not blendable. Even compared to my cheaper drugstore ones, it's very bad eyeshadows. I'm not going to use any of these shades on my eye. It's just cute for the packaging. This is the only reason I keep it. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, next one. This is the smallest eyeshadow I have. This is from The Bomb. And I, I, I think I didn't pay anything for this eyeshadow as well. 
and it's very cute and I think it's travel friendly. You have three shades here. This one is a matte one, a shimmer one. Yeah, two shimmer ones. This is good for just all over lid shadow. This two highlight and you can use this one, dip up your eyelid. So it's a useful and travel friendly palette. But I, you can see I didn't use it even once, I think. Even swatch it, no, I didn't touch it at all. So I think I will keep it if my friend or family want it. I will just give it to them. And it's not very old, so I think it's a good gift for my friends. Next one, that's, let's do this one. This is one of the oldest eyeshadow palettes I have. This is a quad from Bobbi Brown. And I think this is a limited edition. I don't really remember the collection, but I think it's a chocolate something collection. About two or three years ago, I got this one from their website. I love this palette. There is an empty space for the lippy, and I remember this is a matte lipstick. It's not here anymore because I used it, and it's in my um, drawer with my other lipsticks. Here, I think this is a very nice palette for a daily basis. It's not a warmer or cooler shade. It's just kind of neutral tones. So you get a darker browny shade for this one, a highlight shade, a matte base kind of shade here, and then a beautiful shimmer here. I don't think I need to swatch it because this is a limited edition and you cannot get it anymore. But I love it a lot and it has a good mirror here. So I will keep it. This is very good for traveling as well. Here, I have a Huda Beauty night colors here in this one. And I think I don't need to swatch this one, right? Because this is a very famous palette. And I, ha I have to say I love this palette because this is my color story. This is me. I love pink a lot. You can highlight your eyelid and it's a pink shimmer, very beautiful. And you can use this kind of wine, very deep red, kind of burgundy tone, deep up your eyelid. So this palette has everything you need for a purple eye look. So that's why I love this palette so much. And this is travel friendly as well. I think I will keep this one forever since I love pink a lot. Okay, next one is from VC Art. This is the only VC Art palette I have. This is the Portite Pro. Four, I think this is a peachy palette peach tone palette and it's good for daily basis as well so you can see I love neutral daily basis eyeshadow palettes if from so on the only more colorful eyeshadow palette I have so far is this pink one so I love uh, neutral tones and this one is very good for traveling a shades in this one it's very beautiful and if you are going to you are still in school now i think this is a good one for you to wear to go to the classes though this is the only eyeshadow palettes i have from vc art but i love their formulas it's not good to swatch so i'm not going to swatch any shades in this one today but um from my experience if you are over 35 um i think this is a very good palette for you because their shimmers or the satin finish are not chunky and it's very smooth on your eyes. If you have textures on your eyelid, these shades will not make your eyes more or texture. Their formulas will make your eyelid not as textured as other formulas. So if you are looking for a like very smooth texture of a shimmer or satin finishes for your eyeshadows, VCR is a very good option for you. My sister is a big fan of VCR and she told me she loves the eyeshadows from VCR. The reason why she likes it because the reason I just said. So I love their eyeshadows. I will probably get more palettes from VCR during the sale. I don't buy eyeshadow palettes for full price because I think now the shadows are totally overpriced. I always get my palette on sale. I think this is my favorite from my smaller palettes. Even this one. I said I like pink tones, but the VCR formula is better than the Huda one. You can wear it longer than the Huda formula. 
but I, I only have one from each brand so this is just my personal opinion that's it okay because I'm a very talkative person so I almost introduced each eyeshadow palette I have like I'd spend so much time on each palette so I think so after this Colourpop eyeshadow palettes I will do a separate video for the rest of my eyeshadow palettes so so that starts from the yes please this is the oldest one I have from Colourpop this is an OG palette and I still love it the package is so dirty I, I remember it's kind of white yellowy color but now this is all my like fingerprint on the packaging but it's fine it means I use it a lot so I don't mind it inside you can see I use a lot of the shades on especially the yellow one I love yellow color and this two base kind of color do I have to swatch this one I don't think I have to since if you are eyeshadow palette lover I think you have this one already so I don't think I have to spend a lot of time on this one but I have to share one thing I noticed from this palette in the beginning when I got this eyeshadow palette I love it a lot this is kind of the best and the cheapest eyeshadow palettes two or three years ago like you can pay little money for this kind of quality and most of people are surprised this is a dupe for the Natasha Denona Sunset yeah, Sunset Palette. I don't have that one because I got this one and I think it's good enough for me. And it's a good palette for every day. It's also a very good palette because it has pop of colors here and there. However, when I got more and more palettes from Colourpop, I found one thing. This is not best formula from Colourpop anymore because it's drier. I can only wear these shadows from Yes Please just for about five hours if more than five hours my eye look will get messy so that's the only thing I want to share but I still love this color story and it's OG palette so I think I will keep it like the Bobbi Brown one they are the kind of the first eyeshadow palettes I got when I start my uh, makeup journey I got this too at the same time good sport and perception I love this too a lot I think they are color stories are so special and the packages this one perception it says a mirror so I love I love this mirror it has a good quality but the color stories for this two are kind of similar because they are both good for daily basis but they have some pop of colors for this too if you ask me to choose one from this two I think I will I will choose this one but if if you are a natural eyeshadow palettes lover if you can get this one this is the best one you can get you have two like this two rows neutral colors and this two got your deeper shades and pop of tones here and this one it just has three neutral tones and these are all pop of colors on this shade let me just swatch few shades this is my favorite from the good sport this one is cold wild out and this one rookie rosy brownie shades and this one has a very beautiful blue green glitters on this shade and they are very beautiful oh my god let me swatch one more beautiful shade hook it this green this kind of taupey shade so beautiful oh my god let me swatch one more matte one from the good sport the yellow one so beautiful see this is a very good kind of yellow master shade my god so beautiful i love this this good sport so much even now i didn't use it a lot i think but i love it so much i need to use it more okay let's watch this one perception i think this one has a rosy brownish kind of color similar to this one the wild out one no it's darker yeah it's darker than this one that's beautiful as well oh my god and let me swatch the green and blue one. Oh my god color pops shimmers glitters are one of the best this one is so beautiful it's kind of like dual chrome shade you can get the like blue bluish greenish and brown 
on this shade. It's hard to tell what kind of color is this, but it's just beautiful. Especially you put this all over your lid. It will catch everyone's eyes. And the matte shades are beautiful on this one too, but it's just kind of um, neutral colors, so I don't think I need to swatch those. This is kind of eyeshadow palettes I will recommend everyone to get. You can get pop of colors, but you can also get your daily basis eyeshadow in these two palettes. Okay, let's move on to the next one I got from ColourPop, the Dream Street palette. This is everyone's favorite for 2018, I think. I, I didn't get it when it came out, but when I saw it in Ulta store, I fall in love with one of the shades in this palette immediately. If you have this one, you probably already know what I'm talking about. There's two shades, especially this one. This is the one that I decided to get it in the Ulta. Let me swatch this one. Oh my god. You can see I love this kind of rosy brownish shade. So beautiful. You can get this kind of sheen and a lot of color payoff on this shade. That's why I fall in love with this one immediately. Yes, this is the one. I'm full in love with. This one has five shimmers and rest of the palettes are matte. So this is a very good balance. You have six shimmers and six matte, like half matte and half shimmers in one palette. So I love this so much. This is one of my favorites in my collection. It's good quality and a good price. Love, love this so much. Okay, next one, Sweet Talk. I have to say I got this one because everyone was talking about this palette when it came out. This packaging, pink, and the beautiful face, and the back. This is all pinky, nude kind of packaging, and it's flowers all over. So that's why I get this palette. However, I don't think I love this palette as much as this three. It has two press glitters, this one. And this one. I I don't think I can wear that. And this kind of peachy tone, I found they will be good on my eyelids, but it's not. I don't think I can wear this kind of peachy, pinky tone. I don't think they are good on me. But there are two shades I'm falling in love with. This one. This is the Soup Shock eyeshadow from ColourPop. This is the best one. I think I put this one, just this shade, my uh, 2019 favorite. Just this one. It's so beautiful. You just put one color and tap this with your finger on your eyelid. You will be the shiniest girl on the street. And this yellow master shades. Let me swatch this one. I love this kind of yellowy tone. So this is the only two shades I use, probably used. And this two, neutral colors. And this one, the base color. One, two, three, four, five. The five shades. And the rest of those, I barely touch them. So I don't think I, I like this eyeshadow palette a lot. This is the newest one from my collection. And if you want to watch the review, you can click the link here. Okay. I love the packaging. I didn't think too much about the shadows inside because I bought this for the packaging. But I have to say, when I used this one, I was so surprised the tone in this palette. I don't like this, the press glitter again, but it's fine because it's the only one in this palette. However, the rest of the these colors are very beautiful on my eyes. So if you like this kind of pastoral color story, get this one, it's so beautiful and the packaging is so cute. If you are a Salomon fan, you have to get this one. I'm not a colorful palette person. But this is so beautiful. Oh, I don't want to talk too much because I have a review already. I can use each of the colors in this palette except the press glitter. I can use the top row for the daily basis. So I think I can use this palette a lot. If you want to get it a few days ago, Ulta start to sell it. And I think you still can get it now. I think everybody got the blush. I don't know why everybody loves those blushes, but not a lot of people get this one. So if you are going to buy something in the Ulta store, swatch this palette, you, I think you will love it. Oh, by the way, it's not good on the hand swatch, so don't swatch it. Just see if you like the color story. 10 out of 10. 
Okay, I think it's good enough for today. It's long enough. So this half, like half of my collection. So I will share the other half on the other video. If you are interested, please watch the other one. I will post it a few days later. Bye.